And that's going to be Kirk Cousins for my comeback player of the year. I think he's resides in a real super soft division. He can ideally take care of this division. I think he's got a lot of talent around him. That's just aching to end up having a quarterback that can do something and deliver the football to them. This football team will be in the playoffs. Kirk Cousins will lead the charge. I make him my comeback player of the year. Well, I'm going to stay with my pattern and uh, the teams that I think will surprise this year. And with surprises come coaches and also comes quarterbacks. And I'm going to go with Sean McVay for the Los Angeles Rams. If San Francisco does not win this division, if the Super Bowl jinx gets them, if the returning to the norm from the turnovers gets them, if the fact that uh, they just don't know how to win games in the, uh, when it comes crunch time, especially Super Bowl games, I like the makings of what the Rams are potential of doing this year. And I think you've got a real square price on Sean McVay at 25 to 1. Well, I'm going to go uh, with Victor, with Miles Garrett on a repeat this football season here. And uh, interestingly, last year uh, when he went up largely against T.J. Watt from Pittsburgh within the same division, truth be told, T.J. Watt had the better numbers. But it's what you do on the field in the games and it, when you do it on the field in the games. And Miles Garrett is a horse. I was reading where when Cleveland scrimmaged against Minnesota, a couple of their offensive linemen made comments about Miles Garrett. You'd have thought he was they were there. He was his public relations guy. It, it's unbelievable how talented this guy is. And T.J. Watt, I think, could come with a chip on his shoulder this year. But I don't like the fact that he's favored. So hence, I'll go with Miles Garrett. I'll say that uh, Victor and Andy stole my script. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. But I'm not going to hop off uh, off of that. Uh, I like it for all the reasons Victor mentioned, all the reasons Andy mentioned. I think Jamar Chase is due for a really big bounce back year this football season. And it certainly doesn't hurt that Joe Burrow is back healthy again. And Joe Burrow has made a promise to the football world and all the football fans that you're going to see a different Cincinnati Bengal and a different Joe Burrow this football season. Well, looking at this, I'm going to almost, almost, Echo Andy sentiments here. Uh, I really, really like Latu Latu, but he's the favorite here. He's the chalk, and uh, friends don't let friends bet chalk. So, <laughs> unless they're eight to one. Uh, well, yeah, if they're eight to one, there's a lot of bad and horses in the Michigan. field. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, so, it, to me, it's between Byron Murphy and Jared Verse. Andy took Murphy. I'll take Verse. I think Verse has those big shoes to fill with the Rams, and he's got like size fourteen feet. Jared Burris for me. All right, for Offensive Rookie of the Year, I'm going to go with Xavier Worthy. Uh, I think he fills a perfect spot in Kansas City, especially with the Rice situation being what it is. And fastest player in the Combines, uh, I think he fits like a glove into Patrick Mahomes and what it is that he wants to do. Uh, I also was, was going to consider uh, Jaden Daniels, uh, if for no other reason that uh, Washington uh, had the worst turnover ratio in the league last year. And, guys, if you look at a chart of the teams that had the worst turnover ratio, most turnovers, I should say, in the National Football League this year, they bounce back incredibly the next year. Uh, so, too, does the team's record bounce back. And that then, in this case, would be Jaden Daniels leading the Washington Commanders. Well, I got to admit this, uh, guys. I hate to admit this, but uh, I did what Victor said not to do last year, and I burned a pile of money when I bet Christian McCaffrey to win the MVP last year. And I really, truly thought going down the stretch, it was going to be one of those rare running backs that was going to steal an award like that. But it didn't work out. It didn't happen. You won't find me doing that again. <laughs> Instead, uh, I'm going to go to Joe Burrow, who, uh, as I mentioned before, he has a sight set as, as high as anybody I've ever seen as far as wanting to come back from an injury to do just that. I have the Browns and the Bengals battling toe-to-toe -to -toe right down to the wire in the AFC North. And if it ends up being just that way, I think Joe Burrow will win a lot of votes. I have Joe Burrow for my MVP.